Hello again, everyone. It's Vince Four from TradingWinds.com, and this is our update for May 14th, 2018. Let's take a quick look at how the markets finished off today. Once again, we saw some modest gains for U.S. equities. The Dow made it eight straight sessions higher, closing higher by 68 points, while the S&P 500 managed to gain about two and a half points. The Nasdaq was up eight and a half, while the Russell 2000 pulled back slightly or down six and a half points but you know after this strong strong run here over the past week that that uh is expected we could um hopefully hopefully we'll see a bit more of a pullback here uh most likely into support here around 157 and then another pop higher uh bonds pulled back today that drove the yield on the 10-year treasury note back up close to three percent and is now sitting at 2.998 gold pulled back as well this on a bounce uh for the u.s dollar while crude oil finished slightly higher up about 40 cents at the official close that after opec reported a um, a shrinking of oil stockpiles now, also in the news today, Tesla. Uh, this time, not entirely about its uh, Model 3 production run, but a restructuring of the company overall. They said they do plan to continue to rapidly hire uh, for their uh, their um, Model 3 production uh, efforts, but they do plan to flatten their management structure and reduce activities that, quote-unquote, uh, are not, that vital to the company's success at the moment that caused a drop in tesla stock today down a little over nine points or three percent closing at its lows of the day so i think we can expect more downside for tomorrow not a whole lot of momentum here either way but um this certainly has the potential as we've been talking uh lately uh, about getting back to to these lows here these march lows of 245 so definitely a playable run from 290 to 245 uh the weekly chart here also pointing lower and actually i know it's early in the week it's only one day here this candle certainly isn't closed but it is a bearish engulfing pattern so far while monthly still looks pretty positive but um near term I think uh, the, the path of least resistance is to come back and test these lows near 245. So we'll continue to monitor that, but that's about it for now. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you on our next update.